Hello everyone and welcome to the open day for the Certificate in Arts, Science and Inclusive Applied Practice called ASAP. I am Dr. Donatella Kameda and I am the course coordinator for this program. Today we will give you some overall information about the ASAP program and what is to be a Trinity student and then again some information about application for the course. The Certificate in Arts, Science and Inclusive Applied Practice is a level 5 qualification that runs over the course of two years. It is aimed at people with intellectual disabilities and it's part of the broader offer of Trinity College. This is an exciting program to be part of, but let's see what our graduates have to say about their experience in the program. We sat down with some of our ASIAP graduates and asked them about their experience on the course. Brian Higgins, I'm a second year student, just graduated there in May. Hi, my name is David Banfield. Um, I enjoyed doing the two year course. Hello everyone, my name is Noel Dorn and I I did done the best the two year course. I signed the course of practice. My name is Duke Cannon. I am managed, I used to be a first year and a second year student in Trinity College, Dublin. I enjoyed the call so much. It was a great exploration to me and to my family. They were glad that I got the course. I did the interview and their workshops and it really helped me to boost my confidence. I always wanted to go to university but oh, since I left school 21 years ago but I, was able to, so, so I didn't only have my junior so I wasn't able. I, I, I enjoyed the experience coming back to Trinity because you gain a lot as I say. If you have a disability, you have the ability. Um, I've made a lot of friends. I've, I'm also, I was a student rep and I really enjoyed all the coursework. My favourite part of doing the courses was doing, going inside Trinity and, you know, getting the train on my own. Favourite week is Friday week. Because you get to, to go around and join up different societies and clubs and whatever you're into. I liked being in college, it helped me to be more independent and I'm doing an internship. But you learn a lot and you get the great support ever from all these lecturers. They're all in there for you. Yeah have a problem, this accent, and then they go through it. If you don't understand, they go over it slowly. I, I learned a lot. I put a lot of information in it, but I really enjoyed it. And if I was talking to someone about this course, I would say it's a great course. It makes you get the college experience, you get to join the societies, you get to mix in with the other students. I've never been to college before, so it was so new to me to make me friends and everything. TCPID is the best course I ever. I recommend any, anyone with slight to so intellectual disability to do it. If they don't know what university life is like and they want to see what it is like. The ASAP program takes place at the Trinity Centre for the People with Intellectual Disabilities, which is located in 3 College Green. 
The Trinity Centre for People with Intellectual Disabilities is part of the School of Education, which is one of the schools of the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences within Trinity College Dublin. Let's take a closer look at the structure of this course. For each academic year, you will attend two different terms. The first term runs from September till December and the second term from January till April. And then this, there is going to be an additional term, which is called Trinity Term, where TCPID will offer some workshops run by our business partners. And these workshops are meant to strengthen your skills for employability. Attendance of the course is compulsory over the two years and for the first year your attendance is expected to be three days per week in semester one and four days per week in semester two. For the second year in semester one you will attend four days per week and in semester two five days per week, this including one day for work placement. As ASAP graduates, when you finish the course and you obtain your Level 5 certificate, you can then apply for a, an additional offer from TCPID, which is an internship program. The aims of the program are about helping you to become an independent and successful learner, developing a broad knowledge and skills, articulating and use arguments, concepts and theories, and gain opportunities to learn independently, but also as part of a group, and nonetheless to navigate that community within Trinity and outside Trinity, and also to navigate and become part of the employment sector. The ASAIP course is structured under five main themes, advanced learning theories and self-development, applied science, technology and maths, business and marketing, adequacy rights and culture in fine arts and languages. 17 modules are offered to students over the two years of the course, and these modules are contained within each of these themes. For example, the theme Advanced Learning Theories and Self-Development covers the modules Learning Theories and Practice, Occupational Therapy and Work Placement. The Applied Science, Technology and Maths team looks at Applied Health Body Systems, STEM and Society, emergency and disaster management, application of numbers, and information technology. The business and marketing theme introduces students to business, entrepreneurship, and disability. And the modules under the advocacy rights and culture theme encourages students to understand and discuss human rights and disability rights. Finally, the arts, the fine arts and languages theme covers a wide variety of areas. Examples include European painting from the 16th century, drama, film studies, understanding poetry, and the study of a European language and its culture. The ASAIP course, therefore, is unique within Trinity in the sense that it introduces students to a variety, varied range of disciplines across the arts and humanities, the social sciences, as well as STEM and the health sciences. The ASAIP course uses a range of assessment tools, and these have two main objectives. Firstly, to fulfill the learning outcome requirement of the modules, and secondly, on a broader scale, to enable students to apply their learning in context beyond the course and the university. Teaching staff in the program utilize a programmatic approach to assessment. This allows the modules to interconnect, so assessment is seen as a linked series of learning opportunities across the whole program. Firstly, however, what must be supported is students' capacity to learn for themselves and enable them to take ownership of their own learning. For this reason, we encourage students to self-assess, that is, to reflect on and critically evaluate their own learning and to assess the quality of their performance against agreed standards. Assessments, therefore, can be viewed as a powerful enabler to prepare our students for a lifetime of learning. Examples of assessment techniques on the program include keeping a portfolio. For example, this could contain a reflective learning journal, as well as examples of classroom work, such as quizzes and projects. Assessment on the program can also include individual or group work in the form of PowerPoint presentation, a poster or a mind map on the topic of your choice. Creative assessment can include pictures, images, story writing, 
or video making. Participation is also assessed in the form of attendance, peer or group discussion and problem-based learning in the classroom. Reaching staff in the course are made up of the core team, which include two occupational therapists, Ms. Yara Faria Sinnott and Ms. Barbara Ringwood, who is our senior occupational therapist. Mr. Des Aston is the National Schools Coordinator. Ms. Marie David is Pathways Coordinator. Dr. John Kubiak is Teaching and Learning Officer. Dr. Donatella Kameda is the Course Coordinator. And Professor Michael Shevlin is the Director of the Centre. In addition, we have staff from the School of Education, for example, Professor Anne David, Professor Carmel O'Sullivan, as well as individual subject experts who specialize in areas such as business and STEM. I'd like to talk about our role in DCPAD while you attend the course. Our aim is to support students in understanding information in class, and there is always plenty of support during the class, just after the class, and alongside the course. We design assignments to meet learning needs of all students, and we use an approach which is called universal design for learning. We support students to manage college life and present lectures in a way that students can understand uh, using multiple means of engagement and representations. We help students develop skills uh, for employment and we treat students as responsible adults who are responsible for their own learning. So during the course, uh, a TCPAD, you will become a strong and independent learner. Let's see what our role doesn't cover. We don't offer travel training for students, so we expect students to be able to make their own way to college and to commute. We don't do assignments for students, so students will have independent study hours in their timetable and there's plenty of support during these hours. Uh, students might need support from their families or key workers in organizing the work, <clears throat> but still they will need to do their assignments. We don't do assignments for students. Another important thing is that we don't speak to parents without student's consent. And this is because we recognize students have having their own uh, responsibility in managing their learning and their attendance to the course. We don't find employment for students and although we run the internship program, that program is meant to support students or graduates that want to uh, enter the workplace, but we don't guarantee any employment and we don't find employment for students. Hello, my name is Des and I'm going to talk to you about being a Trinity student. Each of the students accepted onto the Arts, Science and Inclusive Applied Practice course are registered as full students within the university. This means that they get to avail of all the student services across the campus. Students can choose to register with the Trinity Disability Support Service for additional support outside of their course. The support service offers academic support, assistive technology and support with reasonable accommodations to all students with disabilities across the university. The support service will do an assessment of need for each student. Um, this process involves the disability officer who will produce an individual learning educational needs summary or a lens report for short. In this lens report, it outlines the reasonable accommodations that are to be implemented for the student. And it, this is communicated with your lecturers and the teaching staff. The Disability Service work closely with the Trinity Ability Co-op to ensure that inclusion is a priority across Trinity. This is a movement of students with disabilities working together to ensure full inclusion across the entire campus. And students with and without disabilities are encouraged to uh, engage with the Trinity Ability Co-op. Students also have access to the Trinity Student Counselling Service the Student Counselling Service helps students manage any difficulties that they may be experiencing at college and they also help students cope with any personal or emotional issues impacting on your studies or your progress in college. There are over 130 sports clubs and societies that students can join 
we encourage students to attend the Freshers' Fair on Freshers' Week to sign up to different clubs and societies. Um, this is an opportunity to meet new people that have similar interests to you or that are exploring new interests. And it's an opportunity to extend your peer network within the university as well. It's very important to us that students get the full college experience and that they also contribute to the college life and that they get to have fun. Let's see what you will need to do to apply for this course. There are some entry criteria in order to be eligible to apply for this course. And these are to have an intellectual disability, to be 18 years of age or older, and to have uh, perhaps completed a level three qualification or equivalent. And then you can see uh, course fees apply and these can be checked on our website. All applications are going to be reviewed and then there's going to be an interview process. So the interview process is organized in an individual interview conductor either online, so via Zoom or in person. And then there's also a group activity that is conducted online on or in person and during the interview process we as staff on the course we will be interviewing students individually and in group for more information about the application process please visit our website we're looking forward to receive your application and we hope that this open day has been giving you enough information and interest to apply for this course Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you again.